I'm here at my new listing on Nichols Road. This is off Pacina Hot Springs Road. As you can see, you have a very large covered deck here. Great for outdoor entertaining. Lots of room for outdoor patio furniture, grills, smokers, and so forth. You do have these little gates on each side that can prevent your dogs from getting out of the yard if you want to keep them on the deck. You can see there's lots of wood that comes with the property. Nice wood drying rack here, oil tank here. And then the house itself is a two-story barn dominium, uh, T111 siding. You do have some roof space upstairs, um, kind of like a balcony patio area. And then heading down this little walkway here, it is covered for your snow, so you can get to the garage without having to go walk into a bunch of snow. We'll finish down there later, but let's go ahead and head inside. Property's on 2.2 .2 acres. You do have this nice entryway here, tiled, so that all the snow and everything you drag in stays in this area. Moving into the back, you can see your Toyo stove that starts heating your main living area here. Uh, you do have a carpeted kind of hallway here, but you can do some entertainment uh, on this side as well. Uh, windows are looking into the woods on the back end of the property. Over here around the first corner, you do have access into um, the bathroom, kitchen area, and you even have a pantry in here as well. So this is a fully uh, housed walk-in pantry. It does have your hot water heater and electric panel in here. And then you can use this for pantry space too, or an office table, or a place to sit to take off your uh, shoes and so forth. Bathroom, pretty simple. You got a toilet here, nice tile flooring, and then a vanity behind the door. Back over this way, you have the kitchen. You have a little portable island in the middle, tile countertops going all the way around. You do have a couple different cooking top options here. You got the Gen Air indoor grill. You got the uh, convection kind of cooktop area there. A nice wall oven and microwave. Stainless steel refrigerator around the corner. Kind of a built-in pantry here and lots of storage space for all of your other um, accessories and gadgets. Over here is the living room. Pretty large space. You do have a dining room option tucked away over there if you don't want to take up this walkway here. Ideally, the dining room table would be here next to the... Uh, kind of open bay window here leading into the kitchen. Other features in here, in the back, you also have a wood-burning stove. Nice way to offset your heating costs in the winter here in Alaska. You do have a little wood storage area right here that you can access from the outside. Another Toyo monitor stove over here that is going to heat this side of the house pretty well. I did forget to mention the hardwood floors in the kitchen. Those are beautiful. Coming upstairs. One moment. Coming upstairs, you have a narrow hallway leading to two bedrooms and a bathroom. There's a mirror at the end of the hallway. Up top here is bedroom number one. Decent sized little room. This one's blue. It does open up to kind of like a sunroom or a covered balcony, if you will. On this side, the roof is clear, so you can get a little bit more light. Not a lot of usable space, but you do walk all the way over to the other side. This used to be the original roof, and then they added this for additional storage. And on this side, it is the same. Coming back inside, you do have closets, some little nooks here where you can hide different stuff. Room for furniture. You got brown carpet up here. In between the bedrooms, you got a bathroom. So you got a little area for a trash can here, sink, toilet, and then a walk-in shower. And this does have a sliding door and tongue and groove ceiling right there by the light. Continuing down the hallway, our last stop is the final bedroom. You can see you can fit a relatively large bed in here. You do have a closet on that side and a closet on this side and then access to another kind of covered patio area over here. And that pretty much concludes the house. Like I said, this is a barn dominium, so it's a barn shaped home. Um, two bedroom, one and a half bathrooms, and um, a garage. It's a three car garage with a two car carport and then a room for a Connex. The Connex that's currently here is not staying, um, but you could always put another one right there and do lean two options like they did. <coughs> we're gonna head out there right now and check it all out 
There's numerous building materials that can come with the property if you want to keep them. Um, currently, the price is at $225. Um, but that at that price, the garage would be as is. They're not doing any additional repairs or upgrades to the structure. So coming in the front here, you do have the extra bedroom bathroom option in here. So this is currently being used as kind of like a little bunkhouse. This is also where your holding tank is. There's another heating option in here. So this could be a livable space in the short term. You do have double egress exits, just no windows. So uh, we are softly calling it a three bedroom, but this is on a totally different septic than the rest of the house. Uh, out here is your washer and dryer. There is a toilet and a shower, but again, nothing in here is um, been worked on for quite some time. So functionality is dependent on um, you know condition. Coming out here is how you access the garage. This is a three car bay right here. You can see there's plenty of room. This side's a little bit less deep. And over here is where your trucks and your deeper vehicles will go. Plenty of room for a workshop as well. And this can be a heated space as well. Looking at that monitor stove there. Come out this way. This is how you access the carport. You can see this is just a dirt floor, but it's additional storage for that gear that you don't need to lock up specifically. And that concludes the tour of this property. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, it is 225. It hit the market today, the 1st of August, and hopefully this won't go quick. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.